Welcome to Crashing with Friends. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman. Corn Shed. Connor Hobbs. Hey. My sister, Quinn Hobbs. What's up? And David Hobbs. (laughs) (laughs) Hi. (laughs) Welcome to the family, David. (laughs) And David Lindsay. Nice to have you here, David. Nice to be here. Uh, how was that assignment you were on last week? Yeah, the UFOs, man. Yeah. Oh. I've been dying to hear about this UFO thing. I did not know what you were doing. Yeah, I know we had a, a spook trail at my brother's house through his woods. And Why did no one tell me about this? You said you were having a party. I'm like, what? A party? Well, a, but I'd rather... Uh, a spook trail sounds like <laughs> It was a party afterward, but... Okay. Yeah, we all did. There was like 14 stations. It's not like a big deal. Like, we didn't all go out and spend $1,000 on stuff, but... Like my wife and I used like a poker table top mm-hmm. and, and hot glued like a huge mixing bowl to the top of it, made it look like a UFO, and then covered it in like fire retardant fabric that's real shimmery. And then we hot glued little blinking LEDs all over it and then set it up in the woods. And then like I would hide behind it and play these like super creepy, eerie alien noises on this Bluetooth speaker. And then I would like jump out from behind the ship. I would like put fog out and all that stuff and like scare the kids. But I'd give them candy. So that's okay. <laughs> so how many kids did you guys have go through there? Honestly, I think we only had like 12 um, actual runs. Because it's like, it's off the highway, <laughs> like Highway 60 in Yosho, like way out west on Grizzly. So like not a lot of people see it. And like most of the people that come through are either family's kids or family's friends' kids. Or, or truckers. Yeah. <laughs> we had a couple truckers. <laughs> yeah, wow. it was fun though. That sounds so cool. I did not know you guys did that. Do you guys do that every year? Yeah. Well, we won't next year because my brother just bought a house in Neo Show, like by the middle school. So they're selling that place. But my uncle just moved down here from California, bought like a big ass property. And he said that we were going to do something next year when they leave. So we might do like a haunt. He has like a huge ass shed that you could do like a maze in. With like scary stuff. Yeah. So we might do that next year. That sounds really cool. Yeah, it was pretty dope. Man. I, yeah, I had, like I said, had no idea you did that. It's so cool. Yeah. And it's for the kids, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I also went home with like a shit ton of candy because I bought a bunch of candy to hand out at the trail. And I, dude, I gave away like a quarter of what I bought. I spent like $30 on candy. It's beautiful, isn't so, it? So, yeah. Now God gonna, bless America. Now I'm going to have to get more fillings next year. <laughs> yep, you and me both, bro. If you ever want to go trick-or-treating, though, that neighborhood by the middle school is it, bro. Like I went by a house in that had, yeah, I went by a house that had candy for kids and then like fireball shots for adults if you had an ID. Wow! Yeah. So you just like grab a shot and your kids get candy. And then there was another house where they had different types of candy for different age groups. And if you were a parent that was taking your kid out trick or treating, they gave you like a king size candy bar. They had a box with like a hundred candy bars in it. Ooh. Yeah, it's the place, dude. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. What else cool things you got, David? I landed on my head on a trampoline Saturday. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do tell. <laughs> yeah. I took my daughter to her birthday party at Soar Trampoline Gym, and I thought that I could do a gainer. And I, 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 dude, I must have jumped higher than I've ever jumped in my life on a trampoline. Really? And I went up, and I was looking down at the trampoline to, like, you know, gauge my landing. Uh-huh. And, that, and then I was still looking down at the trampoline, and then I was still looking down at the trampoline, and then my head, my head collided. This all sounds very familiar. Yeah. And my neck, like, snapped to the side, and it didn't hurt on impact, so I just kind of <laughs> laid there, and then I started laughing, because I was like, man, th- I must look like a fool. Like, I'm a 30-year-old dude trying to do a gainer, and there's, like, a bunch of six-year-olds around. <laughs> And then I landed on my head, and then, yeah, I just started laughing, then I got up, and then I was like, I guess I'm fine, and then over the course (laughs) of the next 24 hours, I got the worst kink in my neck, and it's been there. It's getting better slowly, but, I mean, actually, if I'm being honest, it came back, because I don't know why, (laughs) but I was brushing my teeth this morning, and I was brushing my tongue, and I gagged a little, (laughs) and as soon as I gagged, the kink came back. (laughs) So, yeah. Wow. It got better and then worse. 
Dude, That's I've crazy. leaned into the shower before, <laughs> and while I was leaning over to turn the knob over to hot, I sneezed and threw out my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you were out for a long time with that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it fucked me up, man. <laughs> I throw out my back all the time, putting the kids' car seats in the car. Really? <laughs> like, I lean in, and I'm trying to click the thing to the frame of the car, like, in between the cushions, and my back's just like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> man. I know it's happened to Connor quite a few times. Yeah, I've had uh, a few different times where I've either sneezed or um, leaning over and cough or something, just something like that, and then boom, yeah. you feel it instantly. You're like, okay, I just messed myself up. You know? Yeah. Whenever that happened to me, I was so relieved to find out that it also happened to Connor, so I knew I wasn't the only one that'd be throwing my back <laughs> out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's sometimes I'll like pick up my kid or I'll just like sit on the couch and then it's like a slow thing. It's like paint, 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 snap. Oh god. Like and then it just Damn. stays with me for like three or four days. Really? Yeah. I think you guys need to work on your on your core. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 I thought you did have a bad back, Kyle. No. 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 I had a weak bad back. knees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a week back, about a week back. <laughs> Smooth. Oh yeah. What about Quinn, what you been up to? I uh, just just sitting around doing nothing all day. Uh, got my oil changed this morning. That's about it. Congratulations. Thanks, man. <laughs> Weren't you just deployed in El Paso for like a year? I would say it's more like mobilized, because deployed sounds like you went like overseas or something. But yeah. Nice. And what do you do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Well, on that thing, I was a safety officer, which was really boring. But then, yeah, I don't know. And what's your rank? A captain. Nice. Yeah, boy. And your gender? <laughs> Still deciding. <laughs> gender neutral. <laughs> Since you're safety, do you get to carry a gun or you're just safety in an office is what you are? Just safety in an office. Bummer. Wait, so a safety officer, is that your, like actual is it in an mos if you're an officer no heck no no okay. no i thought it was like i'm an engineer officer okay yeah it's it is, i thought it was like infantry and then intelligence and then engineer and mp the mp and then like the medical corps and all those other like oh, random gotcha. shit yeah so. so do you get the smg quinn <laughs> what the heck does that mean do you get the smg <laughs> are you carrying around a tech yeah. nine or <laughs> <laughs> I like, don't get a gun, like, no. Like when they like if you were to go into battle, would you be the person with the SMG or the assault rifle or what do you No man, they have pistols. Packing? Just a pistol? Remember like all the G.I. Joe's, the officers always had a handgun. Yeah. I'm like, you'd think they'd have something bigger. You know? <laughs> well doesn't doesn't Tom Cruise or, pistol or, an Tom Cruise, or a M sixteen. Doesn't Tom Hanks in uh, Saving Private Ryan when he when he goes onto the beach, doesn't he have an SMG? Like there's like all the guys have like assault rifles and stuff, but like the captains have the the SMGs or something. No idea. Well, like a machine pistol at the least, I think, right? Or was it an SMG? I'm pretty sure it was an SMG. Yeah. Yeah, I never noticed. No, we use like Vietnam era weapons, like the M16 <laughs> with the unadjustable buttstock. You still use M16s? I mean, I bet this last unit I was at, that's all they had was M16s. The one before oh they had the God. M4 adjustable buttstocks, but yeah. I'm like I'm like, damn this. This unit sucks. <laughs> Dude, we had... <laughs> we had M16s for like the first year and a half to two years suck. I was at my unit. But like all the cool MOSs had M4s for like five or ten years up to mm. that point. And then we finally got M4s. And I was like, God, we must be the last unit in the entire army that got M4s. But it looks like we're not. <laughs> no. But, so the National Guard. So like my, my, my last unit, we had M4s with like scopes and like the red dots and all the other shit. Mm. And I got to this unit. This is like a brigade. It's like a big. I thought, oh man, they have they must have money. No, they had M16s with nothing. <laughs> I'm like, I forgot how to shoot without sights in a freaking red dot. <laughs> <laughs> those iron sights on those things. Yeah, man. And you got those big handles that curve in. Is yeah. that the kind? You know, yeah. Yeah. In video games, I'm always like, oh, God. Yeah, this handle, sucks, dude. Yeah, How do you fire over this handle? Gun around You're not supposed thing. to carry it, though. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. And they're heavy, yeah. too. It's like, they're like metal. Really? The M16s, yeah. Man. At least the one I had in basic training was like all metal. It's so fucking heavy. Yeah. So crazy. you're saying it was heavy metal? Fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 I guess I would ask you guys how your week was, but. 
I just heard about it like two days ago. I didn't so. hear about it. Oh, did you to the <laughs> podcast? Like, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, it's only been like three days since the last one. So yeah, not a whole lot going on. Just work. Yeah, I wish I'd been there, man. When you guys were talking about the the eating shit, I had so much to say. <laughs> Yeah. You guys just talked forever, man. I was like, that was great. We'll lay some down. Yeah. Rap. Let's hear about it. Okay. Freestyle. No, I was uh, uh, telling Connor and Jackson outside, like, one that immediately came to me was is a skateboard incident. You know, we have tons of those, but, like, it was, like, three weeks ago. Because <laughs> I, like, I park at Walmart, and when I park at Walmart, I park in the way back, and, like, 7th Street Walmart has, like, a decline all the way to the entrance. So I just skate all the way to the entrance. And I was on my board and I was like picking up speed and I would have had to like turn sharp and go around to get up like the ramp. So I was like, well, I'll just ollie onto the curb. But I did one of those ollies where your tail doesn't touch the ground and you kind of just flop a little. <laughs> and I didn't ollie high enough. So my back truck's caught and I just like completely standing vertical with my hands in my pockets just like started flying forward. <laughs> it's like those videos you see of like people hitting, hitting rocks and their body just completely parallel. Yeah. I just laid there like people were walking by looking at me and I'm like, hey. <laughs> it didn't hurt that bad. I got like road burn on my my arm, but otherwise it was like not as bad as it could have been. Mm. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Man, I remember one time I, I bombed a hill right in front of your house. What street was that on where you lived? Uh, Valley Street. Above the high school? Uh, above the high yeah, school, yeah. So many people ate shit on that hill. <laughs> yeah, it was Valley Street you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, man, I was, <laughs> I got to the very bottom where that new concrete was put in, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? There was like, it was a couple patches of new concrete. Mm -hmm. I hit a, like a rock and you know, that concrete was so like rough right there. Yeah. It was like a cheese grater on oh, the bottom God. of the hill. Yeah. On yeah. the bottom of the hill. Cause I was hauling dude. Cause you, you fly pretty fast on the mm -hmm. hill. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of traffic behind me. Like it was school had just gotten out and I ate it so hard and I stopped traffic for a little while a guy got out and was like are you okay man I'm like, like just go around <laughs> me please <laughs> <laughs> please stop <laughs> like, get out of my face <laughs> that sucked yeah that hill tore people up man my cousin visited one summer and uh, we were gonna go I was taking him to the skate park and we both started going down that hill and I turn around cause I'm like I don't know 20 yards ahead of him and I turn around and he's doing the thing that Connor did where he's like full speed running, bro. <laughs> and then he just lost it and landed like, dude, he was burned all the way up his left arm and left leg and like still has a scar on his knee. And the worst part was like, we went back up to my house and I was like, so you still want to go to the skate park? <laughs> and he was like, dude, I can barely stand. And I was like, well, I'm going to go to the skate park. <laughs> and I just left him there. You guys took the crazy way. You should have went, you know, down the street next to Bo's house. That's yeah. the fun way. Yeah. Who was it that um, they were riding one of those like uh, skateboard licking things with one wheel on each side that you like you wobble? Oh, no, that was Aaron. That was a right? ripstick. The ripstick. Yeah, he went. Didn't he go sideways going yeah. down that hill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, he loved that ripstick, man. I don't know why. They are fun, but that hill was fun, man. We'd snake down it. You know, mm -hmm. that's how you'd have to, you'd have to carve halfway down. It. Yeah. Yeah. God, dude, it, eating shit now on a skateboard hurts so bad. Like, tell me about it, it. It takes you out for like a week or two now. Like if you just fall off a ramp or something. Or sometimes even a whole year. Yeah. 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 I, uh, I was, it was like two years ago, maybe or three when I first moved back, it was like a year after I moved back and I went to the skate park and I tried to manual the top. Like, you know, there's a ramp up flat ramp down. In the ocean? A fun box? I don't know. No, uh, in Joplin. Okay. Yeah. But I, I went down the quarter pipe that goes down a ramp, and then I went up, and I would manual the top and then come back down the other side like everybody does it. Yeah. And I didn't drop out of my manual before I hit the decline. So I was still manualing the decline, but at this point I lost my balance, so I was just on my board flying. <laughs> and then as soon as I hit... The flat, my legs collapsed, and my right knee just took all the pavement, dude. Damn. And, like, it, it was the one time in my life I'd ever got hurt on a skateboard where I was like, I think I might need surgery for this. Because, like, it was, like, numb. You know how you get punched in the face and it, you can't feel it at first? It was kind of like that, but I could tell it hit hard. And then I went and laid in the grass for a second, and as soon as I stood up straight, I, it was like a zing, like a nerve hit. 
it shot all the way up and down my leg and I was like oh shit and it took me out for like yeah a year before I could like do a full squat or completely flex my knees damn yeah wow that wasn't funny dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah I okay, got a lot of times at that park like in the last two years that I've just eaten the concrete and been like I'm leaving everybody <laughs> and I yep. can't skate again for like three or four days yep Quinn, you got any uh, stories where you <laughs> <any> major crap? <laughs> I mean, like, not like you guys. Like, I, I don't remember, like, I remember just like maybe a couple times in my life where I've gotten really hurt like that. And one involves you. Yeah, on the same side? <laughs> yeah. So, like, we, uh, we, we came, we got off the bus, like, at the trailer park. And I, like, we looked through, like, all the trailers to see if, like, mom was home. My mom. She was <laughs> She was we we didn't think she was home. So like, hey, let's go let's go to the let's go to the swing set and just like you'll push me on the swing or whatever. And when you're pushing me, the freaking the freaking uh like metal like broke from the wooden plank that was yeah. the seat. And so I fell on my freaking wrist, like broke my wrist. This is in third grade, I remember. Yeah. I broke my wrist. Or something, and then the freaking metal came back and hit me in the fucking teeth. Wow. All four of these teeth are chipped out. <laughs> oh my god! One yeah. of the craziest things I've ever seen. Yeah, because yeah, wow. I remember because I know it's third grade because mom and dad have video of me at like the third grade music play or whatever, and I'm like clapping my hands like this because <laughs> 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 we, we couldn't afford to go to the fucking hospital. So, yeah. but yeah, and my my freaking teeth were chipped like that for like three years. Before we went to the dentist. Oh yeah, they're good now. (laughs) (laughs) Man, that was such a crazy like (sighs) bang bang. Yeah. And then to top it all off, we go we go back to the trailer and mom was home this whole time. So it could have been fucking prevented. (laughs) (laughs) I swear to god, every kid that falls off a swing gets hit again on the way back. (laughs) Every kid, dude. It hurts so fucking bad. Yeah. Yes, one time um I was doing backflips. Out of the swing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not the one at the trailer park, but the one at the middle school. And, like, you know, I'd go, like, maybe half the way up and do the backflip out. You know, just, I was I was nailing it every time. And this girl's like, go as high as you can and do it. Oh. oh. I'm like, okay. <laughs> gotta listen to the girls, man. <laughs> so, I was, like, I was pumping hard. I was, like, parallel. I was doing the whole thing where you're starting, gravity takes you for yeah. a second. And then you, like, that was happening. I'm like, all right. So I do this mega backflip, dude. And I superhero land and face plant directly to my knee, dude. Just like as hard as I could, just boom. And I was just sitting there for a second. I couldn't see. Like, I was just dazed. And this girl's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And then I I proceed to try to walk around blind for like a minute, dude. Yeah, that's the last time I uh, backflipped out of a swing, pretty much. Uh, like, trying to prove you're okay. You're like, even though I'm blind, I gotta try and make people think I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't like when you land and you didn't like instantly look at her and go, how do you like me now? <laughs> yeah, after hitting myself in the face, that wasn't immediately what I was thinking. Dick on this. <laughs> if I would have stuck that landing, I think I would have got a girlfriend that day. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. God, girls are so shallow. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bitches. Do the biggest backflip you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the biggest concussion I ever had. Well, I honestly might have been one of the only concussions I've ever had. Like I was, we I was like doing tricks on my bike with a friend of mine. I think I was in fifth grade, and. Like, you know how you can, you'll like get your right foot on the left pedal and stand, or you'll stand on the seat, whatever. It's all super easy to do when you're a kid. But like, I was standing on the right pedal and I wanted to jump up and then land both feet on, feet on the pedals. Nice. It was a, like a full size mountain bike, by the way. So when I jumped up, my right foot got stuck where the wheel goes back into the frame. So my foot got shoved in between the front tire and the frame, and the whole bike just flipped. And I was like standing on it. So I land on the ground and it wasn't that bad, but the bike came over the top of me and the seat hit my head and like bounced it into the concrete like a tennis ball, dude. It was like, like between the seat and the the concrete. And I remember just like 
I mean, like what Connor did, I got up and I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> and like, I was running home because the impact scared me. And I like noticed my legs weren't really working all that well. So I was like running and stumbling and falling sideways and shit. <laughs> and I finally got in and I'm like, mama in my head. <laughs> she made me like lay on the couch and she was like, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep. And I was so tired. It sucked. <laughs> yeah, I got knocked out one time at... Uh... It was at the high school. I was in either eighth or ninth grade. We were playing flag football, and um, mm. I was on offense. I was going up to get this pass, you know, like I was high pointing it, so I was jumping really high into the air. As soon as my hands are on the ball, I feel something hit my head, and I just get knocked out instantly. <laughs> <laughs> and what, I just wake up, and I'm getting off the ground is what happens. I go from reaching for a ball to just standing up off the ground and everything is really black around me like almost like i'm just seeing like a just like a tunnel vision kind of thing mm-hmm. you know and uh i get over to the sideline i'm like what happened to me coach <laughs> he just over, uh, and he's like i don't know you went up for a pass and you and this other kid hit heads and then uh you're just on the ground for a while <laughs> and he's like yeah, you're just on your back with your arms crossed going. <laughs> you're probably having a seizure. <laughs> people, people do the freakiest shit when they get knocked out, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But after that, yeah, the rest of the day was like really weird, you know. Just oh, super yeah, lightheaded. You got head fog. Yeah. yeah I just couldn't, couldn't think all day, you know. Pretty bad deal. Damn. Did, when I got knocked out by Brian, did I do anything weird when I hit the ground? I don't think you did anything crazy. Mm. You might have been like, you know, it's like, uh, something. <laughs> 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 yeah, we used, to, we used to do that stupid shit that kids do when they, like, pass each other out. And oh. we saw some weird stuff there. But, like, I remember I got passed out. It was the only time I ever did it because I was always like, nah, man, I ain't doing that shit. But then I got talked into it. And I remember I was like sitting on the couch or I stood up and Austin had me and he passed me out or whatever. And then I remember I was just sit- oh sit- I was sit- yeah, Quinn. <laughs> I learned I learned so many new things about you guys on this podcast. I, love it. <laughs> I never did this. This is the oh, okay, uh, sure, this is, no, this is where I do lunch. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm the guy that's gonna die from this. Like, why would yeah. I do that? Yeah, continue. Yeah, so anyway, I was I was sitting on the couch and it was dark in his house and we were all hanging out watching TV or something and one of my friends uh, Trenton Tate or whatever comes in and he's like has anyone seen like and I don't remember who it was but he said someone's name and we're like no they were here like an hour ago but they left and he's like all right and he leaves and then I'm sitting there watching TV for like another hour hour and a half and then I'm waking up off the couch and was like what the (laughs) fuck Dang. Like, it was like I teleported in, like, time or something, dude. dude. It was really crazy. You probably have brain damage from that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys the time that I passed out at the Oriental House? No. That t- I told you that. Uh. Oh, my gosh. So, I get these, after I eat, sometimes I get these really crazy loud, like, hiccups. Yeah. That like consume my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> did you hiccup yourself into a coma or I something? Did. <laughs> so, me, it was, me and mom went to Oriental House... Uh, just me and her and we were checking out and I had this crazy hiccup and like it hurt it hurts and I got I got all dizzy and everything and mom's like okay Quinn she's like go go sit down I sat down for literally a second and got right back up <laughs> I'm, like, I'm good I'm good and then I go to like towards the counter and I have another one of these huge hiccups and the next thing I know Mom's like behind me, like holding me up. <laughs> and like, she, like th- there's a guy that yells, I'm an AMT. <laughs> and mom's like, Pork chop sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mom's like, mom's like, no, she, she's fine. She's fine. She just passed out. She's good. And like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stand up and like, I can't get up. I'm wobbling. I'm like, why can't I get up? <laughs> and mom goes, Quinn, you passed out. You passed out. And I, I realized my feet were folded underneath me. <laughs> I couldn't stand up. <laughs> and then I'm so embarrassed. I just leave. And then we go, to, we, we're in the car together. <laughs> And I'm like hysterically laughing. I'm just going, like, <laughs> <laughs> and mom's like, Quinn. She's like, Quinn's not bad, but you're in shock. 
Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> just imagine your legs, like with no bones in them, like wrapped <laughs> up so under you like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. It was so wobbly. I'm like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't pay? You just died to dash? Mom paid for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like on a Friday night, so that, you know, on a Friday night, it's fucking packed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i was so embarrassed that's awesome well <laughs> all right it's been a good podcast yeah. See you play guys. Some, <laughs> let's play duck duck goose duck duck goose yep, that's all right we're gonna play tonight on this podcast <laughs> we're gonna narrate duck duck goose clacking and walking in the background <laughs> for like an hour <laughs> all right now Quinn's touching Clutter said, no Jackson said, no David said. <laughs> In this version of Duck Duck Goose, since it's audio only, we're just gonna whoever everyone's gonna do quack noises, but one person's gonna do a goose noise. <laughs> <laughs> you the listeners are gonna figure out who's the goose. <laughs> Talking about ducks. <laughs> Oh, do you have a story, Kyle, or something? No. Where you, going? you got ducks. <laughs> you got something about ducks? I do. I do have something. David, do you remember doing the duck walking maps? Yeah. You remember that shit? They make you strip down to your freaking underwear and walk like a duck. That's yeah. a part of the army physical. You got to squat all the way down and then be flat on your feet and like walk in forward your, like that. In your underwear. In it's your the underwear. Worst. And then after that, after you've already been like dehumanized. They take him into a room with a fucking doctor. I had a male doctor. He was like nine oh, years old. He was ni- 90? He was yeah, like 90. He I think was I had old. the same guy. Yep. Yeah, because you you did it like a year before me or two years or something like that. Yeah. But he looks at your JJ in your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a really funny story about that, by the way. So uh, my brother-in-law at the time, he's not anymore, but he was married to Mandy's sister. He joined the military like two years before I did. And, and then I joined... And then we were both on leave at the same time for Christmas break one year. And we were at, at Olive Garden having like a family dinner. And I'm sitting next to him and he's like, so you remember Maps, that old guy, right? And I was like, yeah, the doctor. And he's like, yeah. How did it feel when he was looking at your butthole? And I was like, kind of awkward, but I mean, like he was completely emotionless. So whatever. And he's like, how'd you like it when he stuck his finger? In? <laughs> and I was like. He didn't put his finger on my butt. And he's like, he did it? And he was like shocked and disgusted, bro. He was like, what? I didn't get a finger in my butt. Yeah, dude. I'm like, I don't know. Was he like checking for something? Or did he see something? Or? He told me he was at a lube, so he used fit. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember getting told before we went in there, they were like, you're going to go in, you're going to get your physical, it's going to be really awkward, don't be stupid about it, don't make any stupid ass jokes, he's heard every single one of them and he'll tell you to leave, like I guess people go in there and they're like, you're not going to buy me dinner first, <laughs> or yeah, something? Yeah. Well, he's like That's nine probably the old. most common one, to break the ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, like, look, imagine how many buttholes he's seen. Like, <laughs> you know? You're just one, you're day. just one out of a million, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've seen them all. <laughs> How many digits we got, Doc? <laughs> all right. Add another one. <laughs> you go in there, you're like, Doc, how many buttholes have you seen? He's like, I've been working here for 50 years. How many buttholes do you think I've seen? <laughs> yeah, maps was fun. It's a good time. It's game time. <laughs> all right. So let's play a couple games. I'm going to be the host this time on these games. They're fairly simple games. Uh, so the first one is going to be David's got Skittles under his butt <laughs> and whoever grabs him first wins. Yeah, <laughs> boy. <laughs> but no, the first one is going to be 20 questions, but for a movie. Let's do it. All right, boy. Was this movie made before 2000, the year 2000? Yes. <clears throat> is it, uh, based off of like a, um, like a comic? No. Was this made before 1990? No. Is it a comedy? No. Isn't it? Is it adventure? Yes. Is the movie's main character or characters kids? No. Does it take place in modern day? Like modern as in like, you know, the last 30, 40 years? Yes. Is it set in like a different realm or in the, like in our context of like real world shit? 
She's saying is like Middle Earth or like you know like a different realm. No. <laughs> okay. Did it take place in a city? <laughs> yes. <laughs> how many? How many were you at right now? You're at nine. Nine. Okay. Let's be. Oh, we'll, let's be a little bit smarter about these questions. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. Mo- it was. So we know it was modern for the nineties. It yeah. was set in our world. In the, in the city. And not children. It's in the city. Yeah. And it's an adventure. It's an adventure of some kind. Um, does this movie star a male for the lead role? Yes. Are the characters going on a quest or a journey of some kind? Mm. Yes. Does this movie have a MacGuffin? Have a what? Mm. What's a MacGuffin? Like a... Like a magic necklace or a power <laughs> ring or something like that. It's like the thing that the characters are chasing after the whole movie. Mm, mm. Okay. I mean, if, it, if you can't think of it, it's probably a no. That's a no. What are we at right now? Like 13, 14? 12. 12. Are there sci-fi elements? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like me and David are on the same page. I, want to be <laughs> I feel like I have an idea of what it is. Um, Can we take like a, mid- a mid-question guess? No, that's ah, if you shit. guess, that's over. Okay. Yeah. What's your huh. question, Jack? Is Keanu Reeves in this movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is are there a, is there a red pill and a blue pill? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. Does does Keanu Reeves follow a white rabbit? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what about machines? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many questions we have? Do they go to a pretty fucking weird club where everyone's dressed in leather and Rob Zombie's playing? Dig through the witches and burn. <laughs> Slam. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you guys are at 18 questions. Is this a sequel? No. Uh-oh. You Good. Hey, you narrowed it down. Good job. There you go. Go ahead, Jack. Um, there's there's sharks in it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your question? Yes. You realize that's the last question, right? I think it, we're good. Go. I gotta know if there's sharks in it because if there's <laughs> sharks in it, it could be something different. <laughs> <laughs> you realize you have 19 questions. Okay, you, we're you good. You got to guess, dude. You got to guess. Oh, oh. And that means? So I have to guess oh. for the final question. Don't screw this up, yeah, Jackson. This the 20th. Oh, I thought we got 20 questions and then it's like, okay, what is too. the answer? No, 19 questions and the last question is the is the movie. Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, is it the Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> too right. easy. I know. I just want to get you guys warmed up. I had a feeling you guys would get that one quick. Here's the real one. Oh. And we're alive. <laughs> and we're back. Is it a jackal? Is it a jackal? Is it a jackal? <laughs> <laughs> Is the baby possessed? <laughs> <laughs> That's six questions already. <laughs> Five of the same question and one in the <laughs> All right, he wants to ask the first question. Is it a comedy? No. Is it a dramedy? <laughs> Just, that was a joke question. <laughs> <laughs> was the movie made after the year 2000? Yes. Does this movie feature animated characters? Yes. Is the movie religious in any way? (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) How does God feel about this title? (laughs) Is it an ensemble film? Yes. Do the characters in this have superpowers of any kind? No. All right. Is this a Disney movie? No. Is it a Pixar movie? No. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Whammy! <laughs> is it DreamWorks? No. <laughs> Wait, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we need to know who made was the it movie. Directed by Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> <laughs> is this movie based in the modern day as well? Yes. Does this movie involve basketball? <gasps> no. Uh. Is it also in the city? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, we're getting closer. You're at 11 questions, guys. Damn. We're starting to narrow it down. Yep. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know if we are. Jackson? I'm trying to remember 
all the information that we have right now. Animated. It features animated characters, it's in the city, made after the year 2000. Not a Disney movie. It's not Disney, not DreamWorks. This might be a... Not Pixar. This might be a throwaway <laughs> question. Is the is the ensemble human? Humanoid. Human characters? Are they human characters? Are they human? <laughs> Kyle, are they human? <laughs> yes. Okay. So they're human. 12. Human. If you had to think about it for a second. I'm just trying to think of an animated movie that wasn't made by it's, Disney, it's, Pixar, It's or not Dreamworks. a comedy either. Yeah. Mm -mm. Is this a kid's movie? No. Never said it was animated. Oh. Features animated characters. Never said it was animated. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> Didn't want to. Didn't want you to go on that track. Are the in? Oh God! I don't want to, how many questions we got? Twelve. Are the uh, are the animations a result of someone being high or something? No. Okay. Mm. Good question, though. Yeah. Was, yeah. Does this feature a, a male as the lead? Yes. <clears throat> Comedy. There are fourteen questions. Is this a horror movie? No. So it's got to be. <clears throat> Either a drama or an action film, right? Basically. It's not a horror, it's not a comedy. Could be suspense. I'm so thrown off right now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I mean, we've got some good hits, but we just, yeah. You got four more questions and Three a more. guess. Oh, okay. Four. Does this movie feature a romantic plot? No. I have, yeah, I have no, I have, I have no fucking clue. Was this made <clears throat> after the year 2010? No. Alright, so 2000 to 2010 somewhere. It's a action or, or or drama. Well, most likely. It's animated elements. If it's got an animated character, it's got to be an action movie. Oh, like CGI type. Yeah, movie. that's what I was thinking. Uh, it's not a kids movie. No. So it's got to be like a superhero movie or something. But nobody has superpowers. Are there superheroes in it? No. Gosh, David. I was going for something <laughs> like that, like. You know, Iron Man. Nobody in Iron Man had superpowers, but it was right. Oh, like Batman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fair. Might have like CGI. We got two more questions. Two more Dang. questions oh, and, a, and a guess. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of like a an ensemble film. I'm trying to just think of questions Animated that would characters. give me a fucking clue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like my head's uh, going Harry Potter, but I know that's not it because that doesn't doesn't happen in the city. Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, it could be very specific like that. Okay. This is stressing me out. Is this part of a series? No. That was a good question, though. We got one more question? Yep. <sighs> is this based on a book? Yes. <gasps> good job, Connor. Shit. Ten years something. And, a, and a, you guys are on a guess now. Yeah, I know. Does anybody have any idea? No. Lord of the I, Rings? You guys asked so many crazy questions at the <laughs> beginning. Lord of the Rings Lord, Lord is Rings ensemble. Is, Lord of the Rings is part of a series. True. Yeah. That's a trilogy. D but doesn't happen in the city. Or does it? Doesn't Some parts. Everything I'm thinking it doesn't have an ensemble cast. I thought I robot for a second, and then I was like, mm. well, maybe um, maybe he, I'm legend because animated yeah. characters, but that's not and an ensemble loves, movie. Kyle loves that freaking movie. I know. Go for that's it, not David. A comedy. Go for it. I mean, I don't I think I've legend, got... Yeah. Is it I am legend? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Damn. Good job. Oh, my Golden, God. Bro. Damn. Golden. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's I Am Legend. <laughs> Damn. Get the that was fuck out of here. <laughs> Straight fire, dude. Oh, my gosh. Fire. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, the ensemble? only reason I thought maybe is because, like, technically all the vampires were like an ensemble. And yeah. Were, he's, he's going against that one guy that whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was animated. The zombies were animated. Yep. Damn. You and got the zombies the were an ensemble? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Because I was like, Will does Smith man, is not an ensemble. Does a man and his dog really count as an ensemble? And I was like, if it's I Am Legend, the only way it could, there could be an ensemble of some type was like the relationship between the main vampires. Damn. Good job, mm, David. But wow. He also had his mannequin pals. Oh, That's true. Do it out here, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ensemble you could say was on his head. Yeah, I love that movie. It's so good, dude. I know you do. That should have been easy. Mm -hmm. You guys want to play the the one word movie quiz game? Yeah. Br bring we on that do, one word that. movie just quiz got... game. Okay. So this game we're gonna play now. I'm gonna give one word, and you have to guess the movie based off one word. Okay. Okay. All right. Gotta call our name. Gotta what, call the what name. What do we win? <laughs> 
Oh, so you say your name to to do a guess, okay? Yeah. All right. So for like an example, um, Matrix would be the Matrix. Oh, you cannot. Say that. <laughs> or, or you'd say Wizard Zion. <laughs> for real. Yeah. You say, Oh, for <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can touch you. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the spare. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, whoever answers first gets the point. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what are we gack, playing? Gack. What are we playing for? Um play for pl- uh, pink slips. Yeah, play this yeah. ottoman. <laughs> play oh. for pink slips. <laughs> <laughs> playing for pink slips. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was going to say Wh- whoever wins gets <laughs> all the other people's cars. I was going to say ass <laughs> gas or crash or ass <laughs> gas or cash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> play for all that. We're gonna play for pinks and play for the ass. <laughs> Just for Jackson. All right. Uh, a pink slip full full of. Never ass. mind. Just keep going. I'm gonna say a car full of it. <laughs> but you don't put anything in a pink slip. So. All right. What what's the what's the first the first word? Okay. First movie. Yeah. Tomb. Connor. Tomb Raider? Nope. David, the mummy. Yes. Damn. Good job. Respect. Mm. I literally almost said tombstone, and I was like, that's so easy, though. <laughs> Shush! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get any of these. It's like all shit that you guys know. Yeah, sucks. <laughs> Stop, just so <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Second movie. Forever. Forever. David. Quinn. The Sandlot? Sandlot. Who said it first? <laughs> I don't know. She can have it. I, remember, I think we tried. I think they, I'll take it. I think they both no, I'll point. take it. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Is it really Sandlot? Damn, I want it back now. Third movie. Martha. Connor. Ah, God dang it, dude. Batman versus Superman. <laughs> Dawn of Justice. Martha. God. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Fourth movie. Breakfast? <laughs> Breakfast? <laughs> hey, Jackson? Yeah. Happy Gilmore? Yes. <laughs> Damn. Damn, dude. Hey, you want breakfast? <laughs> I was thinking the mask. I, what, as soon as he says the word, I'm going to have to say it like 20 times, and like one of those times is going to be like, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Fifth movie. Computer. Quinn. The social network? No. Nope. David. Oh, ah. Shit. No, you had it. Yeah. No, you had it, bro. I heard you first. I, I had it? Yeah. Zoolander? No. Okay. Tron Legacy. Yes. Yeah, baby. Damn. A user. <laughs> I got in, man. <laughs> 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 I love that movie, dude. <laughs> Shit, Zoolander was a good guess, though. Damn. Where are all the stars go? <laughs> <laughs> They're inside the computer? <laughs> One word for you. Zip disc. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sixth movie. Cave. Connor. Batman. Nope. Iron Man. <laughs> oh, oh dude. <laughs> that was <laughs> clean, Jackson. <laughs> that was clean as hell. Say it, Jackson. How do you even Tony get that? Stark built this thing in a cave. <laughs> 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 Straps. <laughs> okay. Seventh movie. Districts. Connor. Ha- Hunger Games. Yes. I should have got that. That pisses me off. Okay, eighth movie. Nipples. Quinn. Austin Powers? No. Uh. Connor, meet the parents? Yes. Ah. Uh. I was thinking of the, the boobs that had the cannons in them. Yeah. That's what I was I thinking was, of. I was just about to say little Nicky. <gasps> when he's like flying past the window and he's like, oh, sorry, nipples. <laughs> The demon with the, the boobs de- on with the, the boobies? Head? Yeah. No, he's... With he's, the bra on his head? No, he's flying past uh, the window, and it's like that dude that's dressed up like a woman or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. He's like, good luck with the nipple rubbing. He's like, I don't need luck. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last movie. Connor has three. Jackson has two. David has two. Quinn has one. So, either beat Connor... Or you tie Connor, and we go to sudden death. <laughs> or Connor wins it. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on! 
No, no, no. Jackson, it's that not. is the first Jurassic Park. It oh, is. my God. I don't think that you have to say the magic I don't, word. I, don't think that she <laughs> okay. I hate this hacker bullshit. <laughs> now we're on to sudden death. All right. Is this between uh, Jackson and Connor this is now? between Jackson yeah. and Connor. It's lame. I think I've got one, but it could either be really hard or really easy, depending on how familiar you two are with it, which is kind of the thing, I guess, right? Should I? Do it. Ooh. Okay. Truffle. Truffle. As in the mushroom truffle? Uh, N- I, I'm giving no. up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't okay. have this one. I'll give you another word. Shuffle. Ah. Oh, Connor, the Goonies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was a good one. That Instead was a really of going, good ah, ah, I should have said Jackson and said Goonies. This is a shuffle. I was like, ah. Good job, Connor. Jackson Jackson did say ah first, so I'll give him the point. <laughs> no, that doesn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. All right, best two out of three. All right, let's hear it. Luna. Connor. Um, Harry Potter. Yes. Is, that, is, that, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right. <laughs> That was too easy. You lose. <laughs> Say that again. You lose. One more time. You lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You did good, son. Yep. Good job, Connor. I've got this mind. Mm-hmm. Superior mind. Superior I didn't say intellect. that. I just have a mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thank you for playing those games with me. <laughs> <laughs> and to finish it off. David's got a little thing he wants to talk about. <laughs> a David's quest. <laughs> a David's quest. So, Quinn, I don't know how much this one is going to be relevant to you. I didn't That's think about good. this because I didn't know you're going to be here. But I'm just going to run over <laughs> a couple cats, a couple I'll dogs. Just, I'll just, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll a just deer. get the heck out of here. <laughs> Shit. I'm just going to run over uh, real quick November games and then I got a topic. Should I even run over the November games? <laughs> I feel like that's a bad idea now. <laughs> Let's just quickly talk about the ones that are about to come out, like Forza and uh, yeah, um, okay, Battlefield and stuff. Yeah, don't forget Forza Horizon oh. Five. Why would you ever forget Forza? I'm not gonna forget Forza. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's on the ninth, and I'm just gonna say Jurassic World Evolution's coming out on the ninth as well because Jackson's gonna get on my shit if I don't yeah. say that. Uh, You're gonna get on his sh- on his poop. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna know that? <laughs> I'm gonna look for a shit and stand on it. <laughs> um, Skyrim comes out on the 11th. If anyone wants to buy that again on PS5, 11 11. They love that date. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon DP. I'm getting that Pokemon. Yeah, it comes out on the 19th. Are you Connor? I'm getting Diamond. He's getting Pearl. Yeah. And then also Battlefield comes out on the 19th. So we're going to be playing Forza oh, and Battlefield God. this month. Yeah. Lots of it. Be a lot of fun. Yeah. Anyway, so the topic I want to talk about was now that the holidays are kind of here since Halloween is over, I wanted to talk about what games you guys might have played in your lives like over holiday breaks or had maybe like taken off work to play and just played them for hours and hours and hours. Like sun up to sunset, only getting up to eat kind of stuff had many times like that yeah i just pick like i don't know three or four throw them out there jackson you want to start man the the one game that i kind of lost my life to for a little bit was skyrim yeah like like, whenever the first time i ever played that game i was like yeah this game is all right but then like the more i got really into it i was just like okay it's 24 7 (laughs) like as soon as i wake up Like, I don't even eat breakfast. I just turn on the game, start playing the game. Dang, dude. I never played that one. You never played Skyrim? Yeah. Dude, (laughs) what? You you should play it, dude. It's a lot of fun. It was actually so much fun. I played Morrowind and Oblivion, but... What? Yeah. Man, I've got two full runs of Skyrim. That game's great, dude. I've got, like, three or four. It was so much fun. Quinn, did you ever even play games much? Uh, I played Minecraft quite a bit. She played the 64 with us a lot too. Yeah. You know, Mario Kart, how, how Mario Party. How you guys are with games, I'm I'm that way with like a really, really good book. Like I'll not go to sleep because I have to finish my book and then. We'll just name some books then. I've, uh, I've skipped uh, class in college just to read my book. Oh my God. 
So. That was me with video games, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, no, Overwatch almost made me fail a semester. Really? Yeah. I played that game so much. And I'd be like, I'll just be late to class. I'll just be a little later to class. <laughs> and then just I'll just go to class tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's why my GPA is not as good as it could have been. Dang, dude. You're a bookworm. I'm a bookworm. It's so cool. That's cool. Connor, do you have any games? I know that like uh, every time that a Halo game came out after the first one, we were like at the midnight launch and we were just like playing Halo like crazy. Um in my adult life, I'll usually take off work either the day a Destiny expansion comes out or, like, near the weekend, like a Thursday or a Friday. And yeah. I'll get, like, a long weekend just to play Destiny, like, all weekend. Um, but, yeah, I really wish that I could just go back to, like, the old style of having a huge summer vacation Dude, and just playing games all day long. Yeah, and you, like, yeah. don't feel guilty. Like, for some reason, if I play a game for, like, three hours, I'm, like... I need to put this down and go do something for a little bit, right, and then I can yeah. come back to it. But I can't just keep on playing anymore like I used to. Well, now now you're a dad and like a husband and shit, so you can't. Yeah, I know. But even if I get like a, a Saturday where I'm like by myself at the house all day, the house is clean. Like I still just like can't. I don't know. Mm. No, the thing that immediately came to my mind was Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, dude. That winter when there was a snowstorm, bro. Oh, dude, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We all three played the shit out of that, dude, and we were like. <laughs> Made sure we had batteries, right? Or do we have SPs? Yeah, <clears throat> we all had uh, rechargeable batteries and stuff, and we just yeah. kept shuffling them out. We were playing that multiplayer a lot, man. That... I know, dude. I remember that that storm. You guys had like a freaking blanket <laughs> fort in the living room, <laughs> yeah. and yep. I visited you. I visited you one time because I opened up the flap and it smelled like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm not coming back here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> there was, like, no hot water, no electricity, and so yeah. the only way for us to stay warm was to, like, stay in the smallest, tightest, enclosed space possible. And then use your CO2 so from like, your farts to <laughs> warm you up. <laughs> yeah, we, like, stood up the two twin size mattresses up against each other and put sheets over the entryways and just played tactics until our freaking SPs died. <laughs> so much fun, man. Yeah. It sucked being stuck in the house for freaking like 10 days without power but yeah those are my best memories of it as a kid dude me too you guys remember when we like we would like <laughs> get in our underwear and we would like no socks or shoes or anything and we try to see how far we could <laughs> run out and then we would drop a bat in the snow yep and then the other person would run out there grab the bat try to get it a little farther drop it and run back <laughs> <laughs> and then, like the the grass was like freaking ice like oh, dude. needles dude because yeah. it was so so much ice on the ground yeah i remember you came back kyle after one man you made it like halfway across that field and you came back and you were like oh my feet my feet my feet, my feet. and you just sat down and you're like rubbing your feet back and forth on the carpet just like ah. we were like dude go get in the shower and you're like no i can't i can't put hot water on them right now you were freaking out the rest of the day you were like my feet hurt so bad dude. it was cold man it was yeah. real cold yeah, I think about that all the time, man. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, fun little ice. Well, I remember we had to go to like Uncle Johnny's house because they had well water and shit. And I remember like we were outside in like the garage, and Dad was telling his like uh, Sasquatch story. And as he said it, I think you and Connor had the good idea that you're going to walk out like you're Bigfoot. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was Connor yeah. and like freaked, freaked dad out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was like, oh my good. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Does he tell? Did he tell the Sasquatch story on last week's podcast? He did. Yeah. Okay. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah. You've heard this story, right? I don't know. It's so funny. Surely you've so. heard it at least once or twice. Probably. All the times you're at my house. Yeah, probably. That was like my dad's favorite story to tell. I'm sorry. That was our dad's favorite story to tell. Because <laughs> <laughs> we I was talking to David specifically. Yeah. What were you talking about? Hey. Continue with your story with your game. Hey. <laughs> I was just oh. looking. I was trying to pick out something else that was like that but man yeah. i remember uh when sc before school was even out me and connor would game plan like all right i'm gonna spend the first month of this of this playing like final fantasy 8 and then the second month i'm gonna be final fantasy 9 <laughs> you know what i'm saying you yeah. remember that yeah never it's happened because my memory cards always get erased <laughs> yeah. who was doing that Connor. It wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> you can Dude. blame me for one, but you're not going to blame me for every time you get the race. I'm going to blame you for every time. 
Dude, that was a thing, man, amongst brothers. Like, every time a file got erased or something. It's hard to dude. avoid. Yeah. It's easy to happen, too, especially when you're selecting files. Yeah, just yeah. save over someone's file by yeah. mistake. Yeah. Oh, and you'd always have to save, like, two files on those Final Fantasy games because you'd get to a point where, like, if you saved here, you couldn't grind anymore, so you'd lose against the boss, and there was no way to go back, so you'd have to save here and then save here, like like a ladder. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. like, yeah, I would always, like, overwrite Isaac's file on accident. He would have, like, three files... At the end of Final Fantasy VII, so that he could run around and do all sorts of crazy shit and chocobo breeding and stuff. And I would erase one. He gets so mad. And I'm like, they all have 200 hours in them. <laughs> <laughs> I was too afraid to even touch your guys' shit because you would like murder me. <laughs> yeah, for good reason. <laughs> yeah, the only I think I did that with like Mario. Like I erased like your guys' progress or something. Yeah, I think you did do that. Yeah. I did. Yeah. 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 Was that Mario 64? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. I hate that game. <laughs> you don't yeah. like it? I just, well, I bought it on my DS like three or four months ago because I'd never beat it when I was a kid. I played a lot of it. I never beat it. And I got like all the way up to the desert level with all the quicksand. Yeah. And I kept falling off the pyramid. Like you have to get, there's like little walkways. And if you even touch the wall, you're like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And just slide all the way down the edge into the quicksand. Yep. Dude, so frustrating. You didn't get that Mario 35 or whatever? I did, yeah. I got that for Mandy, and she never played it. <laughs> yeah. I think she played a little bit of Galaxy, but that's it. I think that's why I love the 64, because you guys, every game I played was already beaten, so I could just play whatever level I wanted. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, dude, I remember playing Ocarina of Time with you all the time, Connor. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was fun. Shit. Yeah. Ouch. People always got stuck on the water temple, man. I got stuck on the one after the shadow temple. That was oh, the one that yeah. stuck me for a long time. Yeah, shadow temple sucked. It's all those invisible walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those parts where you have to, like, you see something off in the distance, and you're like, well, I can't jump to that. I don't even know if I can make it to, with, with my feather boots or whatever. And you can. You just never think about trying. Yeah. So you don't know where the hell to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only other game that ate up my time, like, probably worse than... I don't know, that Fire Emblem game I talked about a couple weeks ago was, wow. Ground Burning Crusade came out, dude. Like, we had, me and Aaron each had a computer set up by the window in that Valley House, or Valley Street House. Yeah. And he paid for a subscription for me, or maybe like a two month. And I, like, did nothing but play World of Warcraft, dude, for like a whole month and a half straight. I remember that. Like, Aaron would go to uh, Cheesy's Pizza. They're like like five dollar pizzas. He would get him one and me one at like lunchtime, and we would just eat it all night. <laughs> that would be lunch and dinner, and just play WoW together, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate that game. I played a lot of WoW at your house on the computer. Yeah. Hey, that MOBA we played was that Dota? Yeah. On Warcraft Three, yeah. Okay, I that thought was, that yeah. was early Dota. Yeah, and then they wanted to like monetize it. And make money off of it. And Blizzard was like, nah, dude. You made it on our servers. Like, we make the money off of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were like, we literally have millions of players a month on this, like, one Warcraft 3 mod. So they made Dota 2. Which is pretty funny. But yeah. Any, anybody else? <laughs> um, no. No. I mean, I still miss work from time to time just to play Destiny. When the expansions come out. I don't yeah. know why I do it. But Damn, I didn't know you guys were that into Destiny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've done it for a bunch of the expansions. Our boss always gets real mad when we do it, but whatever. I've only ever gone to one midnight release in my life and took off work the next day, and that was for Dark Souls three. Really? And I didn't even beat it. Yeah, <laughs> I like played it all day, and then I played it every now and then over the next few days. But I had just beaten Dark Souls one like a week before that, so I was so burned out on Dark Souls, and right when I got three, but. I've been doing a lot of midnight releases. Yeah. I did go to a Target one time to get the new 3DS XL when it came out. And no, it was the Majora's Mask edition with the like the gold one with the mask on it. And like we got to Target and like they opened at seven or eight, but I got there at six AM. Dude, it was like fifteen degrees outside. And I had like skinny jeans and slip ons. I was like frozen solid. And I was like sitting there in line. I was sixth in line. My buddy was fifth in line. We got all the way to or the the manager came out. She's like, "What are you guys all doing out here?" And we're like, "We're waiting on the 3DSs." And she's like, "What's a 3DS?" And we're like, "Oh my god!" 
So she ended up finding out what we were talking about. And she brought them out there. And she's like, I have five Majora's Mask ones. I was like, fuck, dude. Because I, I was number six. So my buddy got one, but I never got one. And now if you go online and try to get one, they're like $400. It's a bummer. Yeah. Hey, David, can you burp now? No. <laughs> Still can't. Damn. Still no. You could not burp? Uh-uh. Not, oh, not on damn. demand. Like, sometimes if I get the hiccups, I burp a little. Just breathe on in accident, your breath, but... man. Just, just breathe in. Just breathe in my breath? Just breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I never knew you could burp. You have to, like, like swallow. You have to, like, swallow your breath. TJ can't burp either. And he would always go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel the burp come out, and there's always like a growling in my throat. It's like, <laughs> and like it's always comes at the worst time. It's like barely audible, but it's just audible enough where if somebody heard it, they'd be like, "The fuck!" Dude? <laughs> but I can't like That's force it out weird. and make a sound. <laughs> I've been thinking about like looking up YouTube guides. <laughs> How to burn? <laughs> oh my god! Just the thought of looking at him is funny. Oh my god! So, like, can you drink a whole two liter of soda and not burp? Like, what the heck? Yeah. Well, I mean, it comes up in that like growling sensation, but <laughs> it's not a burp. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the sensation like I need to burp <laughs> I mean yeah that's what it feels like I, I imagine I need to so, burp but I can't <laughs> do you get that you just, feeling it still comes out it's like it's like a fart but like yeah. you can only silent fart I was gonna say like do you, do you like fart a lot then to get the gas out <laughs> you have to compensate yeah. somehow oh man <laughs> No comment. Yeah. <laughs> just kind That's of why that tits. <laughs> That's why that tits smells like a fart. <laughs> I can. She, she goes in there and she's like, "Oh, David's not burping again." <laughs> <laughs> so does it kind of like escape by like? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like. Uh, you out. I mean, that's like, a burp. But, it's but just a small, like a deep in there, burp. like I don't know, man. Like a rumble. I'm a freak. <laughs> We're all freaks, David. <laughs> oh, especially Jackson. <laughs> yep. I'll say this, though. I I can burp on command, but I think if I could fart on command, that'd be way better in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every time I fart, Rachel's like, that must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do the way you said that, man. That must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're very passive aggressive. Rachel has a friend that had to get the poop cut out of him. Are you serious? <laughs> because he just would go to school and not take a poop. <laughs> oh <my laughs> and then he gosh. would just hold it in for days. And then he had to get that shit surgically removed out of him. Oh, oh my shit. god, bro. Yeah. Dude, Man, there's a boulder in your when son. I was, when I was younger, I was also kind of the same way. But I could go for so long without pooping, man. Why did you hold it in? Because I didn't like to poop. <laughs> How did that make you feel? I to poop. When I was younger, like I did not like the act of going to sit on a toilet and having to poop and then having to wipe and clean up afterwards. Well, like, Jackson, I, I, now you know I what it feels every, like. I hated it, the whole process of pooping as a kid. And so I was just like, well, I found out that if I just sit on the ground on the carpet and clench my butt cheeks <laughs> real hard I don't have to poop Dude. I, sometimes I can't hold but, it but I would go like sometimes as a kid I would go like a week two weeks but and this is like when I'm like maybe five or six or whatever but I eventually got to this point where I'll like, I was like, okay, I've so maybe pooped funny. like three or four times in like the last two months. Oh God. God, dude. And it was because I had the habit of like, oh, I got, I got the feeling that I need to poop. Well, I'm just going to sit here and punch with my butt cheeks. Sometimes though. Sometimes that wouldn't always work though. 
every once in a while, I'll develop uh, racing stripes in my underwear. And I'll just they want it out. Yeah. But I wouldn't let it out, man. I just wouldn't let it free. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. I'll take poops on the reg now. Good. Yeah, good for you, Jason. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of you. I think a lot of it stems from just like, man, like, I don't want to stop playing video games right now to go poop. So, get a switch. <laughs> they didn't have those when I was five and six years old, David. I know. I was going to say, since cell phones came out, now we all enjoy pooping. <sighs> I bet if I really tried, I could probably get back to that state of not <laughs> shitting for like maybe a week or so. <laughs> Dude, Anakin does the same shit, man. He'll hold that shit in until it's about to fucking rip his butthole open. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll poop out this thing. It looks like a beer can. <laughs> Dude, Eden does the same. <laughs> she like, never flushes, dude. dude oh yeah. my god! I wake up in the morning and I'm about to go get the shower. I look down. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> dude. I'm not even joking. It looks like a beer can. Like, it looks like a grenade that's about to explode. Yes, dude. I, used to have I, I remember hoops. one time in specific. Anakin, I could hear him in the bathroom crying, and I go in there. He's like, "I can't get this poop out, Dad. I can't get this poop out." I'm like, "I'm like, oh my god." She's like four. He's probably like five. And I'm like, "Dude, let me see, bro." And I look at it. I'm like, "Oh my god, bro!" <laughs> like you can tell, it was like an iceberg. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yes. Just the tip, but the rest is still in there, dude. And I had, I was like, "Oh, gross, dude." I had to get some water lightly. Like, oh, dab, dab his butthole a little bit for him, and then it slid right out. Oh, like, my, oh my god, god son. I saved his butthole's life, I swear. It's wow, the love of part a about de- Part of being a dad, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. I mean, it's not like you've never wiped his butt before. Oh, gosh, baby, yeah. You know? I don't think he's ever wiped his own butt. So. <laughs> yeah, Somebody's got to do it. Because you know. he always says, oh, that was a ghost poop. It's like, was it? Yeah, it's like, you know, son, just because you don't see the poop in the hole doesn't mean you don't have to wipe your butt. <laughs> That's a Houdini poop, son. I yeah. promise it's there. <laughs> like, when he was, like, a little kid, we were in Spencer's, and there was a list of all these different types of poop. And one of them was ghost poop, and that's what he's stuck with his whole life. Is. Mm. Oh, ghost poop. I don't have yeah. to wipe. It's like, dude, you have to wipe every time, bro. <laughs> Oh, yep. And I think with that, I'm going to wipe this podcast out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for crashing with friends. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Yay. Yay. Peace. <laughs> 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 Crashing with friends. Podcast.